So today's video is going to be the best of 2016 in beauty. Now, to be honest, I didn't really buy that many beauty products in the year of 2016 because let's just be real, mama was on a budget, so I didn't have enough cash to go out and spend money on every single new launch that came out, every single new product. So this is gonna be more of the products that I reached for the most in the year of 2016. Um, these aren't necessarily new, some of them are oldies, but they're goodies. Um, so I'm just gonna go through each category of the face and let you know what I reach for the most this year. So first for primers, I typically don't use primers just because you guys know that I struggle with acne and I've heard that primers can sometimes make acne worse. I don't know if that's right or not, but I just went with it. So I didn't really use um, primers for pretty much the first half of 2016, but I actually bought this strobe cream by MAC and I bought this to use on clients because I do do some freelance work here and there. Um, so I bought this to use on clients and I actually really like it. So my skin used to be pretty oily, but since I dealt with my acne, it's more, it's not oily, but it's not dry. So I guess it's kind of combination. Um, so I just decided to try this on myself to see how I would like it. And I actually really liked it. It just gives you a luminous look to your face and it makes your foundation look really pretty. So I've been using this every day that I wear liquid foundation and I really like it. Next for foundation, um, I did a first impression on the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation and I've been using it ever since. It's pretty comparable to the MAC Studio Fix Foundation. So I have this in almost every single shade that they make it in um, and it looks awesome on clients and it looks awesome on my skin as well. That's why I feel comfortable using it on clients. I am wearing it today. The shade I use it in is 228 Soft Tan and I just find that this has a really nice finish on the skin. Skin. You can pack this on as cakey as you want it. Seriously, today I packed this shit on my face today because I have a lot of breakouts on my cheeks right now. You can't really see because this camera has a smoothing filter, thank the Lord. Um, so you can't really see, but I have a ton of breakouts on my cheeks right now. Um, and you can seriously cake this on and it doesn't look too heavy. It doesn't feel heavy and that's why I really like it because it kind of feels like your skin is naked almost. And it has awesome coverage. Seriously, you can build this up to be full coverage. Um, and the next foundation I have, I'm sure you guys are absolutely sick of hearing me talk about this. But yes, it is the MAC Pro Longwear Foundation. I'm still wearing this. I'm still loving this. I've been wearing this since sophomore year of high school and I am now 23 years old. So what is that? I don't know, I can't math right now. Um, but I have this in the shade NC25. I also have it in, I believe, NC30 and NC42. So I can kind of mix and match so it matches me whatever time of the year it is. And I just seriously love this. There's really nothing more I can say about this. You can see it in previous videos, but this is seriously amazing and you need to try it now. One more thing that I wanted to mention, um, this isn't really a foundation, but it's not really a concealer either. This is the IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Redness, and I absolutely love this stuff. I'm seriously obsessed, and I bought this to cover the scarring that I have along my cheeks, and seriously, the tiniest little pea size amount will cover the entire area of my cheeks and my scarring won't be peeking out or anything from it. So this stuff is seriously awesome. If you have any redness or scarring um, or anything else that you wanna cover up on your face and you want something really heavy duty to wear underneath your foundation um, for days that you want full, extra full coverage, um, this is definitely gonna be for you. the first one you guys have also heard about a ton in all of my videos this is seriously like a broken record now um, but it is the MAC prep and prime translucent press powder this is seriously awesome for putting it all over your face and also underneath your eyes it seriously just fills in any pores that you have it makes your skin look so flawless and airbrushed I absolutely love this especially if you're gonna be on camera there's no flashback or anything like that so I absolutely love this the next powder I have is the Dermablend Professional Setting Powder, and I actually have no idea why I picked this up in the first place. I think I showed this to you guys in my Ulta haul that I filmed after I bought this, and I just saw it and I put it in my bag. I do not know what happened. That is one of the times that I blacked out when I was in Ulta and I just got home and I had this. So 
yeah but luckily it turned out to be really good i really like it i originally got this to try to bake i think with this because it never works for me with the laura mercier translucent powder and this didn't work for me either i seriously cannot bake for the life of me i have tried and tried and tried but every time it ends up looking like complete crap so this is not good for baking, well at least on my skin, but I do love this for all around the face. It just kind of gives you an overall um, smooth finish to the skin. It also looks good underneath the eyes. It doesn't take away the lightness or the highlightedness of your concealer if you're trying to go for a highlighted look underneath your eyes. Um, it just looks really great and it makes your foundation last all day long. It says it's supposed to make it last for up to 16 hours. I don't know if that's true, maybe. I don't know, but it makes it last pretty good. Moving on to bronzer, so I have an oldie but a goodie with me, and it is the NYX Matte Bronzer, and I have mine in the shade Medium. And I used to use this stuff years and years ago, um, but I stopped using it because I found other products and stuff like that. But my mom actually recently had this, and one of the last times I went to go visit her, I found it in her little makeup stash, and I used it, and I fell back in love with it. But this is a really nice matte bronzer. It's really, really warm, so if you're not into warm bronzers, then you will not like this. But for me, I really like warm bronzers, and I think they look really nice on my skin, so I love this. But it just blends out really well. I really like the color payoff that it has, and this is just a perfect shade for my skin tone. So now for blush. Blush is seriously something that I have the most of probably out of any other makeup item other than lipstick or lip products. Um, but I find myself using the same two over and over and over and I use these two all year long. So the first one is Peaches by MAC. And this is just the seriously the perfect blush if you have um, a darker or an olive skin complexion. It looks so nice on the cheeks. So that's the first one that I used all year long. The second one is another oldie but goodie and it's Luminoso by Milani. And seriously, this looks good on any skin tone. It just gives you the perfect glow to your cheeks. It looks good on everyone and it just makes your skin look really healthy and glowy, I guess. For eyes, I have two foundation palettes that I have been reaching for the most. The first palette, I'm sure you can guess already what it is because every single person on YouTube has been mentioning this in their um, best of 2016 video, but it is the Modern Renaissance Palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And this is just a beautiful palette. I love like the orangey, burgundy shades that it has in it. And it's just beautiful. I've been really loving burgundies right now, so I've been reaching for this a lot along with the Morphe 35F palette, which is, I believe, their Frost palette because all um, four of the first rows are all shimmery shades and the bottom row is all matte shades. So I actually asked for this for Christmas from my family and I sent my mom the link for the 350 palette because that's the one that I really wanted. But for some reason, they sent us the 35F palette um, by mistake. Um, I didn't return it because it's still like a really pretty palette and I really love it. And I've been reaching for it a ton. That's why I'm mentioning it in this video. Um, but I probably will get the 350 palette in the future. I have one single eyeshadow that was really like a standout, oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with you kind of thing. And it is the ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in the shade I Love This. And it's just a really beautiful shimmery champagne color. And I use this either all on my lids if I want to go for like a really fresh champagne shimmery look. But what I usually use this for is my inner corner. So I'll just take some on my finger and I'll dab it on my inner corner and it'll just give me a really shimmery kind of open eyed fresh look. I guess, I don't know. This just really looks good in the inner corner and I use this every single day. Even if I'm going for like a really light makeup look, I will still pop this in my inner corner. And it just makes me look more awake and refreshed. So I love this and it's only like $5. An eyeliner that I have that I quickly wanted to mention is the Rimmel Exaggerate Waterproof Eye Definer. 
And this is a pencil liner. I did not have a liquid liner that I absolutely loved at all this year. I've just been kind of switching off between different ones that I have, but I wasn't obsessed with any of them. So I'm not going to mention a liquid liner. Um, but this liner kind of seriously blew me out of the water because this, when they say waterproof, they mean waterproof. Like I can put a swatch on my hand and it will not come off for like two days with makeup remover with soap with water with everything if you want a pencil eyeliner that will last in your waterline or along your lash line this is seriously the one and it's cheap and it's i think it's like five dollars or something I have one mascara that I want to mention and it is the L'Oreal Voluminous Butterfly Mascara and I'm kind of late to the bandwagon on this one because I know that people have loved this. I think it's maybe a year or two years old or something um, and people have been loving it ever since it came out but I was kind of stuck on my Maybelline The Falsies Mascara but I recently switched to this one and I love it. The thing I love most about it is the brush that it has. It kind of curves up on the edge. edge if you can see that and it makes it really easy to kind of brush it through all of your lashes and make sure you're getting every single lash um, but this makes my lashes look so long and it separates them as well so I really like the look that this gives my eyelashes So finally for lips, I have two lip liners, one liquid lipstick, and one lipstick. First for the lip liners, I have been loving these um, Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Lip Pencils. And I have them in two shades. The first one is 1993, and it's kind of like a nudie dark brown color. This is the worst swatch of all time, but that is what 1993 looks like. And the second shade that I have is in Naked 2. And this is like a lighter nude color. And it's on Naked 2 is on the bottom. So this is a little bit more peachy than 1993. But the reason that I love these is because they're so creamy and they last all day. So they're not gonna come off after you drink or if you eat something, you're still gonna have a little bit of the lip liner on your lips. So it just lasts all day on your lips, which I really like. Um, and for the liquid lipstick, it has all rubbed off, like everything on this whole tube has rubbed off, so you can't even tell what it is. But this is a ColourPop liquid lipstick, and this is in the shade Chi. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be Chi or Shy, like short for Chicago, C-H-I. Um, but it's in the shade Chi or Shy, whatever you want to say. But it's a really nice kind of cool toned nude. And this was part of the ColourPop Karuchi collection, so I'm not sure if it's still available on their website. I'm doing this left-handed because I already have swatches on my other hand. Um, but that's what the liquid lipstick looks like. But this is just the perfect nude shade for my skin tone, and I just think it looks really good with my face. <laughs> so I just really like this. And then the lipstick that I have is in the shade Jennifer's Nude, and this is by L'Oreal. And it's one of these in the black tubes. This is um, by Jennifer Lopez, actually. And it's just a really nice pinky nude shade. And I saw this on, um, I don't know if you guys watch the Kavari sisters or not, Yasmin and Nizanin, I think you say her name. Um, but Yasmin always raves about this lipstick, so I picked it up after seeing her rave about it. And of course, I'm in love with it too. So that is all that I have for you guys for the best in beauty of 2016. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.